we want to evaluate each expression using the order of operations and then verify on the graphing calculator. Looking at our first expression, notice how we have addition and multiplication. So looking at the order of operations below, we know to multiply first. So starting with the given expression, we want to perform this multiplication first. Notice how we cannot simplify first, so we'll multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. So one times seven is seven, six times nine equals 54. And now with our addition, notice how we already have a common denominator. So our denominator is going to stay the same and we add the numerators, negative one plus seven equals six. But this fraction does simplify, there's a common factor of six. Just to show that, we can write this as six over 54 is equal to six times nine. Now we can actually see the common factor of six. Six divided by six simplifies to one. So our simplified fraction is one ninth. The given expression simplifies to one ninth. Let's check this on the calculator. We use division for the fraction bar, so negative one divided by 54 plus one sixth times seven ninths. Enter. Notice how it's giving a decimal. To get the fraction, we want to press math, enter, enter. Verifying our result. Looking at our next expression, our first step is to simplify the exponents. So we have three sevenths times negative one sixth squared. So we want to begin by squaring negative one sixth. Well, negative one sixth squared equals negative one sixth times negative one six, which is equal to positive one thirty sixth. Well, for one and two, we could think of this as negative one sixth squared is equal to negative one squared divided by six squared, still giving us one thirty sixth. So the given expression is equal to three sevenths times one thirty sixth. But notice how there is a common factor of three here. There's one three and three and 12 threes and 36. So when we multiply, the numerator is going to be one times one or one. The denominator is going to be seven times 12, which equals 84. So this simplifies to 184. On the calculator, we have three sevenths times negative one sixth in parentheses squared, enter, and math. Enter, enter. Again, verifying our result. Looking at our next expression, we first want to simplify inside the parentheses. So if we have one half divided by two thirds times one fourth squared, inside the parentheses we have division and multiplication, which have the same priority. So we multiply and divide from left to right. So we'll first perform this division. So this is going to be equal to one half. To divide by two thirds, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of three halves. So times three halves. Of course, we still have times one fourth. And now that we have just multiplication here, we'll just multiply from left to right. Notice how nothing is going to simplify. So the numerator is going to be one times three times one, that's three. The denominator is going to be two times two times four, which is 16. This is squared, so 3 16 squared is equal to 3 16 times 3 16 which equals 9 over 256, or we could also think of this as 3 squared over 16 squared, with the same result of 9 over 256. Back to the calculator. Open parenthesis, one half. Now to divide by two thirds, we'll have to have two thirds in parentheses. So divided by, open parenthesis, two divided by three, close parenthesis, times one fourth, close parenthesis, squared, and enter. And math, enter, enter, to get our fraction, which verifies our result. And now for the last expression, notice how we have an expression in the numerator and in the denominator, which means we have implied parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. So we'll simplify the numerator and denominator separately 
and then simplify the fraction by performing the division. So the first step of the numerator is going to be to perform the subtraction. The first step of the denominator is going to be perform the subtraction here inside the innermost parentheses. So the given expression is equal to a fraction where the numerator is going to be, well, minus negative eight becomes plus eight, so six plus eight is 14. In our denominator, we have seven minus, and then two minus five is negative three, so we have negative three squared. Continuing to simplify the denominator, negative three squared is equal to negative three times negative three or positive nine. So we have 14 divided by, and we have seven minus nine. Still simplifying the denominator, seven minus nine is equal to negative two. So 14 divided by negative two, which equals negative seven. So all this simplifies to negative seven. Let's go ahead and check this. So open parenthesis, and then we have six minus in parentheses negative eight. Notice how we have two closed parentheses here, and then divided by open parenthesis seven minus in parentheses two minus five. This is squared. And now we need another closed parenthesis here and enter, verifying the result. I hope you found this helpful.